Hey everybody, it's Joshua, your Saturday guy here on FDM Transformers. I apologize for not having my video up yesterday. I completely forgot it was Saturday, and then by the time I realized it, I was way too tired to um make a video, and my throat was sore um because I've been battling with a sinus cold lately. Anyway, um, I'm in a different view because I'm at a restaurant right now. But I'm outside because there was too many people in there, and I was getting, um, anxious and stuff. So, this week's topic is our futures. Um, well, in my future, um, well, I'm a senior in high school right now, and next year I'm gonna be going to a community college that's about seven minutes away from my house. And, um, I already got accepted, so I'm just working on scholarships and stuff. So I'm gonna be going there and doing my general eds, because, you know, community college is so much cheaper. Like, it really is. Um, and then I plan to go to a four-year college. Um, but actually, I'll only be going there for two years, because I'm doing my gen eds at a different one. So then I'm gonna transfer my gen eds to another college, and for two years, like a university or something, and I want to major in law, I want to be a lawyer for, um, NCTE, which is the National Center for Transgender Equality, at first, I wanted to be a lawyer for ACLU, which is the American Civil Liberties Union, but I decided that because I really want to focus on trans rights, um, NCTE would be a better fit for me, so I really hope that I can be a lawyer for them, and do a lot of lobbying and a lot of getting uh, trans protection laws into place because that's really what I'm very passionate about. Um, so yeah, and I also want to be a therapist for, um, like a gender therapist with, um, a sliding fee scale, I think that's what it's called. Um... Or maybe it's a sliding scale fee. I don't know which one. But anyway. I want to make sure that even if you don't have a lot of money, you can still go to therapy. Because a lot of um, endocrinologists and surgeons require a letter from a therapist stating that you've been seeing them for this amount of time and they've diagnosed you with this. Um, and I think it's horrible that if you don't have enough money to see a therapist that you can't go and get those letters because it's like just because you don't have enough money to see a therapist doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to transition you know if you want to transition you should ha be able to do that and I want to make that possible for people who don't have a lot of money um because I have a few friends who don't have a lot of money and can't go to therapy for that reason and in all, in all honesty, my heart just breaks for them because I was fortunate enough to be able to afford um, a good therapist who can diagnose me with the gender stuff and give me my letters. Um, but not everybody is that fortunate, and so I really want to be able to help those people who are less fortunate in that way um, get the letters they need, get their transition going, help them with whatever they need help with because again that's another one of my passions is helping people who really want something and just don't have the money to afford it um because everybody deserves to transition no matter what so yeah i want to be a lawyer and a therapist thinking of doing them both um, because I'm not sure. Like, I want to open my own practice for therapy because otherwise I'd have to go with, like, how their, how the payment of the whole building and everything goes. But if I open my own practice, I can make sure that people don't have to pay hundreds of dollars when they don't have that much money. So I'm hoping to be both a lawyer and a therapist. Um, so, yeah. That's basically my future, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Again, sorry this video is late, but hopefully...
next Saturday. I'll remember. Alright. Peace.